How's it going YouTube? Oxy here and welcome back to the channel. As the title suggests, today we're doing a mega unboxing. As you can see, got a stack of five games here and a mystery box, if you will. Um, yeah, I mean, not much more to say, just an unboxing and trust me, we got some great stuff in here. Stick to the end, be sure to check them all out. Uh, I will say the stack, uh, you might be like, why is it uneven? You know, why do you have it like that? Well, that's the order. You know, we're starting with what I'd say is like the least, not, uh, I don't want to say interesting, but you get the idea. Like from least to most hype with the final one being, in my opinion, the most hype one. But of course, you guys will be the judge of that. And without further ado, let's get into the unboxings and see what we got. All right, guys, so I'm going to start with the box here and yeah, see what we got. So as the, as the thumbnail shows, it's a figure. Can you guys guess what it is? You know, <laughs> we have the golden question. What's in the box? Not you give me the What's gun. in the fucking box? I know, I know, like <laughs> I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it, Just, you know, <laughs> and here we go. Let's see. All right, so, oh look, not a pop. <laughs> and let's see what we got. So if you guys remember in a previous video, which by the way, go check it out, I unboxed Primal Rage toys and boom, we have the new earth god herself, Vertigo. Again, love Primal Rage growing up. Would love to see a new game. Warner Bros. get on that. And yeah, Vertigo, she was like, I believe the only female, and of course she's like a made up dino, if you will. As you can see, she has like a cobra head. Really cool. Her and Blizzard, my favorite characters, but yeah, Vertigo. Cool figure. I mean, you know, just to add more to the collection. And here, let's get the box out the way. And let's get to the main events, right? So, got our first one here. Let's see. All right, and what do we got here? Dun dun dun! Tenchu, Return from Darkness. Oh, whoa there! Complete, as you can see. What can I say? Great game. Tenchu series is always just fantastic. You know that. Oh, oh wow! Surprisingly, they don't say it. But this, you know, from software goodness. I'm actually shocked. It only says Activision. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, so for the uninitiated, so this was on the PS2 as Wrath of Heaven. And of course, it, on Xbox, it was known as Return from Darkness. It's the same game. Got the boy, Ricky Maru, Ayame. I mean, I'm really nostalgic with this game, uh, specifically PS2 version. Just because uh, I had a cousin that used to live with us, and he used to always play it. Uh, and yeah, I would always watch him, and Tenchu games are awesome. I mean... From Software needs to bring them back. But yeah, guys. Tenchu. Return from Darkness. Great game. Very excited to have it. You know. It's going to be a good a good play. And here. Let's get to our next one. Damn. Sorry, guys. Just the way the setup is. You know. Got to <laughs> work around it. And our next one. Enslaved odyssey to the west again another great game complete of course ninja theory i mean what what more is there to say like just fantastic studio i'd argue like the best that microsoft owns i mean hey that's right they own them of course these are the people behind for my ps3 players out there heavenly sword uh og xbox fans kung fu chaos great game so much fun I'd love to see them remake it, remaster. You get the idea. Uh, I guess the one misstep, if you will, is they developed DMC. You know, the, the reboot one where Dante has, like, the short hair, more of an edgy look. Everyone blames them for that, but, guys, it was Capcom. They were trying to do this whole, like, appeal to the West, you know. It, it's Capcom's fault. But, yeah, they went on to make uh, their probably, arguably, most famous work. 
Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice, and of course 2 is on the way. I mean, what can I say? Ninja Theory, great studio. This, I've heard this is like a hidden gem. Just slept on game, and yeah, glad to have it in the collection. Now, we're getting to the good stuff. Oh boy. So, just as I open it, I mean, look, let me tell you guys, this game... I have been like, ooh, I've been on the lookout for this game probably ever since I started collecting. And, you know, places would always tax on it and finally getting it for a good price. Just exciting. And that game is... Boom. Alice Madness Returns. Complete, as you can see. Even the insert. I mean, what is there to say? Fantastic game. This game has shot up in value like crazy. You know, includes the online pass for the original Alice. Made by American McGee, you know, famous. He worked on Doom, and he's, well, you know, and of course, American McGee's Alice, the first game. But yeah, very excited to have this in the collection. Great game. I love, like I've always said, I'm, I love horror or like Tim Burton-esque, like, of course, because this takes the classic story of Alice in Wonderland and gives it a darker twist. And again, for Xbox fans, this game is backwards compatible. So, this game shot up in value, like, you'd be pressed to find it cheaper than, like, 40 bucks now. It goes, like, up where it's past 50. And, so, the online pass. So, here, this, and, okay. So, as you can see, it brings a password. Now, uh, I cover it, I mean, hey, you never know, maybe it works. But, so, the issue with this game... Uh, obviously to get the original you need the pass or so you would think But you actually don't I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm praising EA those scumbags <laughs> But the game the original is actually a free download uh, Once you get the game which it is on game pass, you know, you can get it cheaper there Of course as a collector you want the physical you can get the game on game pass right Alice Madness returns and in the D under DLC, the American McGee's Alice is downloadable for free, Game Pass or not. Uh, I downloaded the game just like before this came in the mail. You do need Madness Returns to play it. It's the only selectable within the menu of this game to play the original. But yeah, guys. And as far as I can tell on PS3 or PS4, uh, it works as well. They actually made it free. So yeah, guys. All you need is Madness Returns, uh, go to the game store, go under DLC, and you'll see American McGee's Alice for free. Again, gotta give credit where credit's due, EA. You know, keep that up. Keep, keep that awesome stuff up. Now this game. Oh man, this game. So, I took a chance on this one. What I mean is, uh, I don't know, I mean, you guys let me know. Uh, have you ever been on eBay, you want to buy something? I guess specific to games, uh, they don't have, like, original photos. They just have, like, generic cover art that, you know, like, off the internet. And obviously, you're skeptical, right? You're like, yo, is this gonna be the actual game? Am I gonna get, like, a fake, like, GameStop cover? So, this guy, like, just to give you the an idea of, like, the sketch factor. This guy was selling, like, five multiple, again, generic picture. And he says, hey, feel free to message me with any questions you have. This was cheaper than what it was going for. Again, on eBay, it was going for like 50 plus. And I got it for like 30. I took a chance, messaged the guy. And I was like, hey, is this disc only or complete? And he was like, maybe I was the first person to show interest. Because he was like, uh, it's complete. You know, box, the game, and then manual. And I was like, I took the chance. I bought it and... It paid off, guys. I mean, check it out. Cold Fear. Man, that, you again, Ubisoft, they used to be, man, they used to be so good back in the day. Cold Fear, what is there to say? It's a horror game in the style of, like, old school Resident Evils. But it's on a boat. And, I mean, the awesome thing. So, the boat, to give you perspective, you know how boats rock back and forth, like, in real life. So, in this game, you're on a boat. And as your character walks, the boat actually rocks, like, you know, side to side. So you could be walking, and then it slides, and your character will actually slide off. And, like, I don't know, like, just the attention to detail in this game is fantastic. It's just awesome. And, again, I got the Xbox version, which, for the unaware, 
the old, any time in this generation, the sixth generation, any game, third party game, the OG Xbox version is always the best. It was the most powerful system by far of that generation. So yeah, to get this game and the best version possible for 30 bucks, just insane. I mean, and as you guys can see, I took that chance and look, game disc, manual, case, it's original artwork, you know, it's not printed. Gotta watch out for that too. But yeah, guys, Cold Fear hyped i'm just <laughs> hyped to have that to collect add that to the collection so what's the final game you know the moment of truth right let's find out as you saw i guess a theme with cold fear alice i'm into like horror or that type of stuff you know and yeah i mean let's just say arguably one of the greatest horror games of all time bar none man konami what have you done bring it back and that guys is dun 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 silent hill 2 restless dreams and man look as you can see complete i don't know super hype the stickers don't bug me that's how you know it's legit it's not a repo <laughs> but yeah guys Silent Hill 2. The, man, if you've been keeping up this game, whoo, you'd be lucky to find this under 70 right now. And this, this, like, to give you a little story, I was watching a bid for, not this copy, a different one, and funny enough, it was the original case, but the disc was a platinum hits. But hey, that was all that was like, you know, uh, at a reasonable price. Because again, this game is like crazy high. It's, especially on ps2 it's even higher but yeah i missed out on it this one appeared again like when i bought it every, every copy was like over 70 bucks i guess the guy had like a 30 percent off like all every item he was selling i got silent hill 2 for 40 dollars <laughs> like guys i'm i can't make this up like silent hill 2 and then restless dream so the interesting thing about that, Silent Hill 2 obviously came out originally PS2, just base game. The original Xbox version, Restless Dreams, was the first time that, like, you could say a complete edition. Because, see, Extras comes with the additional playable character of Maria, more secrets, new areas, weapons, and items, and enhanced graphics and lighting. This was the first time. Restless Dreams was eventually released on the PS2. So, I mean, hey, you were kind of screwed over if you bought it, like, the base game. And then later on, this got released. But the Xbox version was the first time Restless Dreams was released. Happy to add that to the collection. I mean, hey, you might ask, why didn't I get, uh, like, the HD collection, you know, on the 360 PS3? Well, long story short... <laughs> Uh, that is just a really bad port of it, and funny enough, it was just riddled with bugs, and the 360 version never got a patch. The PS3 version did, so, again, as a fan, it's just not the optimal way to play Silent Hill 2, but yeah, guys, I mean, let's get to the end recap, and as you saw, wasn't lying, just straight heat. Let's check it out, guys. But yeah, guys. Let me know what you thought. I mean, as you saw, got the homegirl Vertigo. You know, just add more to the Primal Rage figure collection. And five quality games. Two 360 games. Three original Xbox games. Five in total. And again, Enslaved, Odyssey to the West. Alice, Madness Returns. And get the original for free. Tenshu, Return from Darkness, great series, highly recommend it. Cold Fear, again, uh, I can't, all I can say is I got lucky. Because a lot of times with those generic posts, you get finessed, you know, they send you like a, a black case, the GameStop cover, you know, where it just has the word. But, you know, shout out to the guy, and it was in Canada too, so international package <laughs> and of course finally silent hill 2 arguably greatest horror game of all time super pumped to check it out you know 
uh, yeah, absolutely love it. And yeah, guys, that's those were that was the unboxings I had. And let me know what you thought. I mean, do you do you like any of these games? I mean, <laughs> which ones should I play first? But with that, guys, that was the video for today. Just a cool unboxing I had, you know. As you saw, waited for uh, a more substantial amount to come. That way it could be a better video for you guys. But as always, guys, I post new videos every Tuesdays and Saturdays. And be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that good jazz. And as always, guys, I've been your host, Oxy. Take care and have a great rest of your day.